So the flies are out pretty bad right now. Both horses are stomping quite a bit. Um, especially him, I can see them on his face, on his legs. Oh, yep, see? He's pretty annoyed with them. I've seen some videos where natural coconut butter this is the butter i actually bought it for myself and it's probably sat in my cupboard for a hundred years um and i usually wear these leggings they're fly sheet leggings so i'm gonna put the i've never used this coconut stuff before so i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna put it on them as well they usually get track marks up underneath their stomach um so i'll put them on the track mark areas and i'll see if there's a visible difference <laughs> I've literally put the coconut stuff on their stomach, on their legs, on their head, underneath their jawline. I'll put some on Baby. Baby's trying to mooch food. He's got his own bucket. I don't know. It's a toss-up. Flies are still bugging them. Uh, they smell amazing, like they just went to the tropical beach. And my hands are softer. And I've put used to my coconut butter that I wouldn't have used otherwise. <laughs> I don't know. I can't say the flies have completely stopped, but I don't know. That's a coin toss. But the flies are horrendously bad today. So I can see on his face. You can see where I was putting it around him and there's still flies on the bucket and near his face, but not on his face. So yeah, maybe if you have it sitting in your cupboard like I did and was never using it, then sure, you, your hands will be softer and your horses will smell so yummy. Oh gosh, baby. Maybe trying to mooch food. <laughs> James is not into sharing. <laughs> Baby, you do have your own bucket hanging on the fence. What a little goofball. But I'll put some on him. I don't know. Maybe it works. Maybe it just takes a second. Or oh, James is going with his bucket. He's flipping it right away there. They're silly getting them ready we're hauling out tomorrow so today they both got omeprazole sufocrate pills for their stomach and hauling anytime you have added stress like hauling uh, it's always important to take care of their guts uh, they also have electrolytes in their pails right now with soaked alfalfa timothy cubes and a couple of more probiotics, prebiotics, also for gut health. Um, healthy guts or a healthy horse. So yeah, we'll be hauling out pretty darn early tomorrow to go compete down in Chilliwack with these guys. Well, Freckles, James just gets to go for the ride because he's gaining the experience. So yeah, that's my fly trial and error here. The boots do work. I've actually had somebody ask me about them. I bought them off of Amazon. They're like $40 for the pair of four of them. So I bought two sets for these guys. I actually do notice a difference when I put them on versus I'm not wearing them. Um, so yeah, if you have flies that harass your horse's legs like these guys get, they are definitely worth the investment. I bought them a few months ago and they've held up really well for being really cheap pair, the Velcro. I got like a few little sticky things on the Velcros just because of the pasture they're in. Uh, yeah, I definitely like those. Freckles usually wears a full fly suit, which I'll probably put on him after here. Yeah, so that's my coconut trial. They smell yummy. Okay, I am going to add coconut butter to baby. I'm also using the jar to hold my phone up. What I really do need to do is get a cell phone holder. There we go. Then you can see baby. It's got some coconut butter. You see me?
me put it on the other horses. I actually don't know if it's working, but we'll put it on him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 